How'd he know to expect you? I couldn't tell you. Why not ask him yourself? You'll find him in the manor atop the on hill. Greetings. I must say, I'm impressed by your intuition, sir. You found me out far sooner than most. I trust you are enjoying your sojourn in our fair village. If you have any questions, ask away. I should be glad to aid you. Beg pardon? Why would you ask such a thing? A letter. Oh, -ho. you've made quite the discovery. Brass means imitating someone in Thieves' Cant. This letter means to say someone's taken on such a request. Naturally, I can say nothing as to the who or what of the arrangement. I... Is there aught else you care to ask? If aught about our humble village seems strange to you, that is easily explained. For it is here that thieves are instructed in the skills they require. To begin with, those who wander into the village are evaluated for their potential aptitude. Of course, you are no exception. That you stand here now is proof you were deemed a worthy candidate. Which is to say, you have my approval as the Thiefmaster. Is there aught else you'd care to ask? You're curious what I know of you? Quite a bit, I should think. Naturally, I'm not the only one. Our village has its own network of spies and informants, you see, and your title tends to make you stand out among the rumors we collect. You're the second arisen to come to Vermont, and you've allied yourself with Captain Brandt against the Queen Regent. In response, she's... Oops, I mustn't say another word. Don't misunderstand. I'm no ally of the Queen Regent. I merely strive to maintain neutrality in political matters. Those who deal in information must ne'er align themselves with a particular power. Such is our village code. Is there aught else you care to ask? Arthur, you say? Hmm. I've lived in this village many a year, but I can't say I've heard of someone by that name. My apologies. Is there aught else you'd care to ask? Aye. Take care, then. You, sir, are worthy of inheriting my ultimate technique. Once mastered, it will allow you to fell all foes, both minuscule and mighty. Take it, and do with it what you will. The villagers' stairs are sharp as daggers. What is their intent, I wonder? It is eerie, but we must needs press on. No fear, master. I'll fare all right without you for a little while.
You made it after all. Guess that means I win. Oi, you lot best pay up. Dear me. You didn't disappoint, did you? You've done well. Seems only fair I answer any questions weighing on you. Go on. Ask away. Figures you'd want to know about him. We're supposed to be neutral. Ordinarily, I wouldn't say a word about one of our jobs. But I suppose I can tell you, the situation being what is. His real name is Dora. He was one of us, once. But he's been exiled. We had no choice, see, after he went off to play the false arisen. We're men and women of shadow. Center stage isn't our place to stand. That's why he was cast out. He'll near be part of our village again. That all you wanted to ask? For all this, Dara was in line to become the next thief maester. But he failed. Took a massive injury to the chest during the trial. So the title fell to me. That's when he went off, saying he used the scar in his chest to pose as the Arisen. And what a scheme that turned out to be, eh? Now he gets to sit pretty on the best seat in the kingdom. Still. We'd have a hard time proving that he's not who he says he is. He's a wily one, that Dara. Always was careful not to leave behind a shred of evidence. But we can't have him thinking that he gets to go off and enjoy a peaceful life in the lap of luxury after breaking our code. Methinks he needs something to remind him of the debt he owes us. Here, this should do the trick. Now, as to the Maester's teaching, not sure you'll be able to use it to its fullest potential, but I'll show it to you. That all you wanted to ask? What can I say? Not many people bother with this place. Luckily for me, 
You were different. Knew I was right to bet in favor of the Arisen. Anyway, most visitors get fooled into going up to the manor. We send them packing with a trifle, and if they don't question it, good riddance. Anyone that complacent has got no business being a thief. We only train the rare few who make it here. Some might go so far as to say that the entire village was built around this spot. That all you wanted to ask? Aye. Till next time, then. So this is where you were, Master. I searched high and low for you. This should be of use. Whatever could you want from me? See, look at my wares. It is quiet without. Sunset draws near. We shall have to rely on our other senses, as the darkness robs us of our sight. Arisen, I know of at least one location in the vicinity that may be of interest to you. Shall I tell you more? A reward for our efforts. I expect Captain Brandt will know how to put what we've gleaned to good use. Now we must report to Captain Brandt. That's the way of things, is it not? I know where that person can be found, Master. This way. We're in your hands, sir. Much obliged. Master, I discovered a treasure chest hereabouts during my last journey beyond the rift. Shall I guide you to it? Thinks we could move this boulder if we work together. Would anyone care to push? Aught fell from the beast as it breathed its last. Am I the 
first to notice we've all got different vocations. Our respective abilities are unique as well. Let us utilize our individual strengths wherever possible. Reward for our efforts. I expect Captain Brandt will know how to put what we've gleaned to good use. I expect Captain Brandt will want to hear of this. Ah, oh, yes. I know just where to find this person. Follow me. A guide is most welcome. Now we shan't lose our way. I would gladly be obeyed, Arisa. I shall not fail you. No quarrel here. Done, Master. Here, if you please. I'd wager there's ought to be found here. We ought to take a closer look. Hard one. We ought to consider this a lesson. This is what befalls one who lets down their guard. Thanks, Armour. You've got better on no for the same result with our next attack.
Let me get that. Come over here. This way, if you please, Master. Here, if you please. If we're to destroy this, it will have to be from the other side. I'm not altogether happy with this. Come to think of it, was there not another task we were to see to somewhere nearby? We'll make our way there in time. As to whether it will be sooner or later, that is for the Arisen to decide. Our road was a long one, but here we are at last. There is much we ought to tend to if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. Have you divined aught of the false sovereign, your majesty? This appears to be a bill calling for the arrest of a man named Dara. But hold a moment. Does this man's countenance not bear an uncanny resemblance to that of the false sovereign? Hmm. I see. If your majesty is certain that the two are one and the same, then I am convinced as well. However, I'm afraid this paper alone does not constitute sufficient proof. Ah, but of course. I surmise your majesty intends to post the bill and invite suspicion. A clever plan. The Queen Regent will be forced to deny any connection to our new sovereign yet will be unable to remove the bill from the public eye. Furthermore, it will serve as an attestation to Dara's existence, which shall remain an undeniable truth till the man resurfaces. And all the while, the doubts lurking in the hearts of the citizenry will continue to deepen. 
A clever ploy indeed. I shall attend to this matter personally. I have no doubt that this bill will prove its worth in due course. You have my gratitude, Your Majesty. Your aid has been invaluable. Meisters a capable sort. I'd wager this will make life rather difficult for the Queen Regent. We're off to Vernworth Palace then. This might be worth a read. Shall we take a closer look? Good evening, sir. I trust you fared all right on the road. despite the hour you know where to find I fear I have no wisdom to offer. I am attentive and loyal, and prefer to remain by your side. In battle, I shall follow your lead and prioritize support. Fate willing, the day will come when our paths cross again. It will be an honor to serve by your side. A troubling rumor has reached my ears, and methinks I ought to share it. It is said there is an illness Wars can contract beyond the rift that inflicts unspeakable harm on those around them. As it progresses, the pawn gradually loses all self-control, and in time will even cease to heed the Arisen's commands. I'm not taking any passengers just now, sir. Fancy a broken arm? Why, that's my speciality. This ox cart's bound for Melv. I'll not take you anywhere till I've had my due.
This ladder can take us to new heights. We ought to put it to good use. Are you in the market for something in particular? Do come again. What a bore. Need anything? I enjoy this work. Keeps me on my toes. Stop by again soon. No purchases to be made today, I see. I just hope the shopkeep understands. Browsing was enough to scratch the itch in my case. Scratch another task off our list while we're here, if you're so inclined. This ox cart's bound for the checkpoint rest town. I'll need to see some coin before I let you on. Oi, you there! You've just arrived in town, haven't you? I don't mean to pry, only it's my grandson, a boy by the name of Rog. He's gone missing. Pray tell, have you seen the lad? Morris, I've just found out Rog has been abducted by beasts. W -w what? No! How can that be? I've just heard news. Rog was seen being dragged off by wolves. Oh, my poor boy. We must go rescue him at once. Morris, think what you're saying, friend. We can't go charging off after the lad. We are no match for such creatures. Do you truly expect me to do naught but twiddle my thumbs when my only grandson's been taken from me? The soldiers won't do aught for him, will they now? Consarn it all. He's right. But what else am I to do? 
If I do not hasten to the poor lad's aid, who will? Did it do you truly mean that, sir? You will save my grandson. If you return him to me, I will be forever in your debt, stranger. Shall we seek some answers? I truly appreciate your offer to aid us with this, friend. Had you not spoken up when you did, I fear Morris would have rushed straight into the jaws of those fell beasts. I know he's in pain. I am too. But trying to resolve this ourselves would only serve to add more corpses to the pile. Oh, I should tell you. I heard someone in town witnessed Roger's abduction. He may have some inkling of where the creatures took the boy. Pray, do what you can to bring Rog back to us. What do you want? few beastrons are in Batal, but you scarce see them this side of the border. Strange that, considering some say Vermund was a beastron kingdom in bygone days. Mayhap you've seen those headless statues on roads and such? Tell is, they're meant to be depictions of the beastron ruler. Couldn't tell you whether any of that's true or not, mind. Tis simply aught I overheard at the tavern. Have you need of me? What am I supposed to do about it? Wonder if there's any. Enough. Greetings, sir, and welcome to the Sword and Staff. We see a great many customers, given our location. The Sword and Staff is open for business. The Sword and Staff is open for business. Interested in my wares? Not sure what they say. Hi, I met Roger by the Cenotaph, on the eastern side of town. He had what looked like a bundle of grass with him. Only he was carrying it as though twere of the greatest import. When I asked what he was doing with it, he would say no more than twas a secret. So I told him to get home safe, and we parted ways. Yet no sooner had I turned my back than I heard him scream. I charged to his aid, but a wolf was already scarpering with him in its jaws. Poor lad, his cries haunt me even now. Pray help him if you can, sir. He deserves a... Is this some manner of trial? Aye, he had what looked like a bundle. He would say no more than twas a secret. Yet no sooner had I turned my back, I charged to his aid. But a wolf was up. Poor lad. His cries haunt me even now. Pray help him if you can, sir. The flowers that bloom around here glow come nightfall. From what I can glean, the petals absorb the sun's light by day and release it after dark. Isn't that unusual? Nature works in mysterious ways. Poor Rog. He truly is a lovely boy. He's always helping Morris in his shop. 
And he's delivered me my remedies many a time. Once, he even picked some flowers on his way out and put them up for me. All pretty like. I still recall his smile when he told me about the beautiful flower bed he tends to on the outskirts of town. Oh, Rog, will I e'er see your smile again? I suppose I can only hope. Ox carts make for relatively safer travel. The flowers that bloom around here glow come nightfall. From what I can glean, isn't that unusual? Give me a moment Where to think. Are you going? Interested in well, this my is wares? no good. I can't let myself get distracted. Follow me. Try to keep me in your sights, Master. I shan't lead you astray. I did not know I could feel so alive. So close a call offers no solace in victory. What fails to destroy us only enhances our chances against future adversaries. Just yonder looks to be a good spot for harvesting ingredients. Shall we see if there's ought to be found while we're here? Right, just follow me. Follow me, Master. I've plotted a new course that will see us to our destination much more swiftly. A hidden path? I suppose there will be monsters lurking beyond it. 
Pray keep your wits about you. We needn't go barging in. This seems a decent spot for a campsite. Better to rest while we're here than lament our weariness later. Allow me to open your chest. We have found a material. Different combinations of materials result in different creations. what I was hoping for. There's ought to be found there. Can you not see it? We ought to take a closer look.
about time we pressed on, wouldn't you say, Master? Over here. No sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. The early griffin gets the word, as they say. That was a nasty one. I'll save you. Glad to see you have the matter in hand. I grant you fire's blaze. Use it well. Done. Once more. You're welcome to take whatever you like from my pack, Master. I'd gladly see you put what I find to good use. Here, if you please. Master, if ever your pack grows cumbersome, know that I would... 